M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the ICOM ID52 and ICOM705. Here's a link for the CS52 programming software for the ICOM ID52. Just scroll to the bottom, click that, download, and then you'll have a zip file here. And we'll give it a minute to populate. And it runs very well. So just click it like so double click here and then click double clicks set up XC and then follow it all the way through and uh, until it finishes and then I'll show you what it will look like when it's finished I'm not going to run it all because I've already got this but it will look like this when it's finished here's the link for the USB driver ICOM ID 52 and we'll just click here Go to the bottom, download, and then the USB serial port driver will load. I'll just show you what it looks like when you're connected while it's doing that. Mine is connected. Look, it looks like this, USB 52 serial port and USB port. So, and then just to run it, uh, just double click here. Look, set up actually, I've got 64, apologies for the dog. And then uh, that's it, and just run it, and then you've got your USB driver. If you feel better, restart your uh, your PC. So uh, that's the USB driver. Finish. 7.3. M0FXB. So just a quick one. If you want to load the repeater list from the ICOM site, we're not using the, the other method for the SD card. This is just PC software and radio. So go to ICOM, I'll put the link in, and go to uh, repeater list. And I, I've had to go to the ICOM 705. I'm sure they'll add one for the 52, but this is 705. And then click here and then download the file. And this is the USA repeater list. Obviously, if you're in the UK, get that one. So you've got the repeater list there, and then send it to a file where you're going to find it. So extract to, and then we've got a file called ICOM 52. We've already done this, so... We'll just say yes to all and send it all there. So right, ICOM 52. Now we go back, open up our CPS software and I'll put a link in for the CPS software. First thing I would do is read my radio. So go com, read radio, and I'd read it and it would populate your radio, okay? And at the moment, if we have a look at my repeater list here, it's gonna be the Japanese one. See, that's a Japanese one. We don't want a Japanese one. We want an American one or a USA one or a UK one. So what we're going to do, we're going to go File, Import, All, and it's going to take us straight to that file where we've saved all these things. And we'll look for the USA one and Repeaters. We'll double-click Repeater. Uh, that's Japan there. So we're looking for USA, and we'll double-click that. And it will give you this warning. Import from the file. Current sheet will be cleared. Click OK. Keep user settings up to you. I'm, I'm going to put no. And then I give it a minute. <coughs> and it will um, populate. And there is a pause on this. Apologize for any noise in the background. Um, so there you go. Some settings were changed to value. Okay. And then now, look, we've now got all of the uh, Ameri USA repeater list. And there's the United Kingdom there, look, which is the one I would use anyway. So hope this hope if you've lost your repeater list and you want to quickly upload it using your PC USB cable, this is how I, I have done it. Um, there are other ways of loading up all of the memories on the radio, but this is just repeater list only. Seven three, all the best. I'll put links in the description.